And the skies above West Asia are set to host one of the world's most advanced aircraft, the F-35 stealth fighter jets. The Trump administration is considering selling these to the UAE. Washington insiders say that this is Trump's reward for Abu Dhabi's decision to normalize ties with Israel. But Israel does not seem very happy about this. This report tells you why. It is said to be the most dominant aircraft ever built. It has an unmatched ability to evade the enemy, a supersonic speed of Mark 1.6, and the capability of jamming radars and disrupting attacks. The F-35 stealth fighter jet is a lethal and powerful force multiplier and it could soon be the game changer in West Asia. So, uh, yeah, they'd like to buy F-35s. We'll see what happens. It's under review. Guess who the US president is talking about? The United Arab Emirates. The Trump administration is considering an F-35 sale to the UAE. Washington's reward to the Sheikhdom for its decision to normalize relations with Israel. The deal is under review for now, but it has triggered a diplomatic row already. Israel is not happy. The news of this deal was first reported by Israeli media. They called it a secret clause, which was part of the diplomatic agreement between Israel and the Emirates. But the Israeli government rubbished the reports as fake news. Because a deal such as this edges on America's promise of Israeli dominance in the region. The devil is in the detail. So far, the F-35 has been offered only to America's NATO allies. And three other close partners. Japan, South Korea and Israel. For Israel, this stealth fighter has been a potent tool for maintaining its military supremacy in West Asia. It has always been against letting its Arab neighbors secure a military edge. Because in Israel's eyes, today's Arab friend could be tomorrow's enemy. The Israeli defense minister has expressed his government's disappointment in some rather clear words. We will support this government effort and we will verify and verify well that our security interests are maintained. It is possible to sign a peace agreement while showing security responsibility or even not just possible. We must sign a peace agreement while showing security responsibility. It has been less than a week since the historic Israel-UAE peace deal was signed and the newfound alliance may have already hit its first roadblock. It is now up to the United States to decide whether it is willing to undercut Israel's military edge it once vowed to uphold. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.